Wednesday, I get an email from a friend, and it was not really a friend, I don't like him, but he's, you know. <laughs> and uh, he, he sends me an email, right? It starts with, hi, you know, H followed by 19 I's or something. Hi. <laughs> I should have deleted it, but I opened it. And it was, <laughs> He goes, guess what, I'm, uh, I'm raising money for charity and I'm riding my bicycle down through France and Italy. I need to raise 2,000 pounds for the basic equipment. Can you help with a donation? <laughs> and uh, so I replied straight away, naturally, and I uh, said, uh, well, that's a coincidence because I'm looking to raise money as well. I want to take my family to Orlando. <laughs> and um, he got a bit pissed off at me about it. He was, he was offended. And, uh, and he rang up and said, you don't get it, do you, Jack? You just don't get it. It's a really good cause I'm raising money for. I said, well, let me stop you there, because you said it was a charity. I assumed it would be a good cause, basically. I think that's taken as, as given. Basically, people don't generally raise money for bad causes, do they? You don't see people out on, in the high street on a Saturday morning rattling a tin. Oh, please, save the wasp. Can you, you know? <laughs> Please give to Nick Clegg, he's having a hard time. Please help. <laughs> I mean, you will get the odd mediocre cause where you're not sure you can decide either way. And you think, oh, if we don't raise £12,000, this old windmill will have to close down. And it's an educational asset. It's a heritage site. You think, oh, fuck. <laughs> OK, I could give you a couple of quid and everyone else will. But, you know, and you'll probably keep it open. But frankly, all that'll mean is that you and your rather unsettling friends will carry on dressing up as medieval millers <laughs> every weekend. And I'm not sure I want any part of that, if I, you know? <laughs> now, I, I'm being hypocritical now, because I'm, I'm involved in fundraising. I'm, you know, comic relief I've done, as you I may, have, may or may not know. I, uh, I went up the Zambezi earlier this year, and, um, and it was... Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. I raised a million pounds, which, uh, which bought, uh, you know, we, we were able to buy uh, 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 mosquito nets and uh, medication and tents and, uh, and all the other equipment I asked for. <laughs> Everyone is raising money. Everyone is, they're going crazy. Old people, what the hell's happened to old people these days? My God, oh, they never stop raising money, do they? Was, there was a time, old people, they would retire and just keep quiet. Now, <laughs> You go, I'm 88 years old, I'm going to walk from John O'Groves to Land's End. You go, what? we don't do that, what are you doing that for? At your age, if you can get down to the corner shop and come back with your trousers still on, <laughs> everyone will be happy, I promise. You know, if you can come back not in a police car like last time, that's fine. You know, they, they go, oh, I'm going on a sponsored parachute jump. Don't do that, what are you doing that for? Be thrown out an aeroplane, strapped to some instructor, be photographed at 8,000 feet, going... <laughs> Because you know what? If you do that, you don't look like you're having a good time or rediscovering your youth. What you actually look like is one of those old teddy bears that's been strapped to the front of a rubbish truck, OK? <laughs> you want to be remembered like that? Go ahead. I, I have no intention of doing that. When I, when I retire, I, I'm going to be a right bastard. I am. I've been, uh, oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I, want, I want visiting me to be a chore, not a pleasure. <laughs> I want, I want people to come around. I'm going to make sure my house smells funny. I, I, am. I am. I'm going to find out how they do that, and I'm going to do it as well. I am. <laughs> this is going to be my turn, right? People have to come over, pretend they haven't noticed. Yeah. Oh, should we open a window? Nah, leave it. I like it like this. <laughs> Keep the warm in. You know, you know ones I really admire? These are my favourite people. These are old people who tell you to go away without even finding out who's at the door. Those are ones that go, Back off! <laughs> isn't it great, isn't it? It's just perfect. You're right in there, a bit worried. I was, oh, do you come round? Why don't I go and fuck off? <laughs> we, bought you, we bought you a fruitcake. Ah, oh, fuck off with your fruitcake. Yeah, choked on me last time, didn't I? Go on. <laughs> we got you a bottle of sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.